DCU Center, door 22, Worcester Wares. What's in here? I'm mad. <laughs> it's the right time in Worcester, it's the right place. We're proud of our heritage and we love mechanics, all stone soup and all the people we've yet to meet. You'll find our civic pride out beaming wide on neighborhood streets. It's the right time in Worcester, it's the right place. And we thank you for caring about Worcester the way we Matt Feinstein, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we have on today's show Jessica Walsh. How are you doing, Jessica? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. good. This is uh, August the 20th, 2015. I'm Mike Benedetti. This is 508, a show about Worcester. Today we are in this store, Worcester Wares. Hi, Brendan. Brendan Mellican on the show today. Jessica, this store is in the DCU Center. It's like in a, right off of a, a, a door from the outside. Yes, it is indeed. It's off uh, door 22 at the DCU. What is what is this space? What's going on? How, how is there anything in the space like this? I'm sorry, say that again. Like, why? what is this space? So this space is a celebration of Worcester in a way. Okay. Um, it is, every I call it everything Worcester. Okay. Um, it's all Worcester themed products by Worcester artists um, as well as myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we don't have it, please let us know so we can make it. All right, let's look at, let's look, let's look at what we got here. All right. We got a bunch. Of, actually, I should point out. First of all, I'm wearing my uh, Hoffman for President shirt. That I, I really love this shirt. Also, we have on the show today, not for sale. But we haven't seen him in a couple of years on 508. The Turtle Boy. Hey, Worcester's Turtle Boy. First 3D printed Turtle Boy. I love that. There he is. There I feel like is. I need a 3D printed Turtle Boy just to like make a shadow box printer. and put him on my wall. We can figure it yes. out. We can figure it out. We've been cutting so many deals <laughs> love it. before we take, started taping the show oh today. It's amazing. This synergy is thick like We're molasses. Exhausted. Right. That's right. So we got buttons here. We buttons. got we have the the map of the city of Worcester. Yeah, postcards behind you with um, uh -huh. from a great photographer in Worcester, as well as Worcester Wares designs, uh -huh. uh, licensed designs, designs by myself, designs by other artists. Stickers. These are pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's there awesome. is no excuse for every car in Worcester not to have Worcester bumper stickers. Entering yeah, Worcester. Leave, you could also have a sign leaving Worcester for people who didn't like the city that much. <laughs> yes. Do you guys, I wanted to ask you guys, um, do you feel like there is like an inordinate number of people in the city of Worcester wearing Worcester shirts? Because when I go to a city like Providence or Hartford, you know, people will have a shirt of their school or their sports team or whatever. I don't feel like I see a lot of people around those cities with just like a Providence or Providence rules or whatever shirt. But Worcester, on the other hand, yeah. It's maybe a little different. So I'll start with saying, I've actually never seen one of my shirts out in the wild. Like, I haven't seen, like, been driving up the street and been like, oh, there's my shirt. So like, you haven't seen these no, Worcester shirts? No, I haven't. Around. I've only seen it on my friends, which thank you to all of my friends for buying my shirts. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that with Providence, I don't know, Worcester's kind of a different city. I think Worcester has been almost in Boston's shadow for a little while and mm -hmm. for years. Centuries. Centuries since, you know, towns existed. Uh, Boston is absolutely wonderful but i think worcester is as well and there's a little bit of an underdog story there i think the people of worcester are proud and uh strong and now they they're showing it in a different way i think it's kind of great i appreciate that brendan yeah. now is branching his worcester paris of the 80 shirt that he wears old school under jacob brendan's work is over so we can actually nice. go back to normal that's right living. it's like superman like this is how people like are worcester. all these people you see walking around downtown with their suits on as soon as they get home <laughs> Paris of the 80s. Paris of the 80s. And you need to bring in a tattoo artist, too, so we can do that as well. That's, I have not decided what yeah. I want my I think that's actually how we first met, yet, met though, how we first met. at we Union Station, and I was looking at one of the bags that had... Yeah, and I said, oh, can I see your <laughs> yeah. arm? I know that's strange, but please let me see. So I don't know what Worcester tattoo I want yet, but I, I need one. Yes. I can feel it. Yeah. I do. Take us through a tour. Yeah. yeah. There's a ton yes, of stuff please here, come and it feels like my wife's going to be really mad at me when I come home with all of it. So this is our t-shirt wall guarded by the um, red naked lady. What What is with these red naked ladies that I see in here? They're beautiful. They're, they're just things that just, you have. They're, it's a, the female form is fun to look at, and why not make it bright red and interesting? Yeah. Right? Red and um, black. Yes. So here's my the wall of shirts. Uh huh. And some of them are my designs, and others are licensed from very talented artists and silk screeners around we have Worcester. Tim Lipensi's Worcester. 
Wooster shirt. Wooster. We have the classic Paris City 80 shirt is now manufactured by you and Jacob Berendez. Open yes. the gates. I, this is a uh, Bancroft Tower shirt. I yes, haven't, this I haven't is a seen this one. By Scott Billiard. He's a very talented oh, artist in Worcester. Nice. Uh, I think a lot of people know who he is. He's wonderful. <laughs> and this is his design in the um, movement in the collection of people who want Bancroft Tower to be open for, oh. the, for the people. So this is sort open of a political up. slogan open yes. the gates. Don't those fences anymore. Yes, please keep it open and let us see uh, Worcester from a beautiful. Oh, beautiful point. tower. That yeah. would be cool if they opened that. Yeah. Here we have a Worcester shirt, which is a uh, flag, sun, <laughs> thumb. What is this? This is, um, if you've ever used Microsoft Word, there's a font called Wingdings. And uh, this is Worcester <laughs> written in Worcester that font. Of course, it has a snowflake in it because it's Worcester. Because we're the snowiest <laughs> sit, large course. city in the United yes. States. Uh, I make shirts that are Worcester in sign language, wingdings and Morse code, and uh -huh. I call it the conversation line because it encourages um, conversation about Worcester. People have to ask, what does that say? And you're like, of course it says Worcester. And what else like, would I be wearing? What, what else would Hello. I have pride in besides right. the city of Worcester? Look at me. Come on, I'm people. from Worcester. Yeah. Is this for sale? It is indeed for sale. It's a photograph I took myself in oh. front of the first home I had in Worcester. It's a nice print. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a really nice image. <laughs> Here we have, uh, you have a, are, is this, is, so is this just like uh, stuff that you have around or is this some sort of Worcester? So for some odd reason I've been collecting lockers for years, uh -huh. uh, much to my husband's chagrin. Uh, I enjoy industrial pieces and uh -huh. we've had a garage full of lockers for years and when the store came about it was like, oh good, are you taking the lockers? <laughs> and I was, so that's awesome. Uh, we have great magnets from John Hansen of Mugged in Worcester. John Hansen is a genius. There. He is. Millie is for Millie Worcester, is for of Worcester. course. That's Absolutely. I think good I job, have John. 18 of those bracelets. <laughs> I think everybody has 18 of those bracelets. Do you think you could make some sort of an art piece in here, like a like a giant tapestry of bracelets woven together? That would actually be pretty awesome. Somebody I could have make someone that. working on a bottle cap mural that's interesting, uh, that's Worcester-y, but I think the bead thing, I should just scrap that and do the Millie beads. Here's some yeah. stuff. Oh, wait a second. Is this uh, Bob Bernier? He's a photographer in Worcester. Uh-huh. Uh, is this St. Peter's Church? Highly talented. Bobo is fantastic. It is St. Peter's. Bobo. Yeah. This is, my, this is my this is my church. One. This is great. How much is this? Uh, let's flip it. Why didn't I bring more money? See. I believe this one is fifty. <laughs> Matted. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. His work yeah, is fantastic. Open a line of credit, Mike. This is cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll open up a line of credit. You're this fine. This is <laughs> These are, these are good? Little Worcester? Uh... Yes, those were produced by someone who is now an Etsy seller, uh -huh. uh, but they went to WPI, and they have now moved um, across the country, but their heart is still definitely here. And this is, I assume this is like laser, laser burned? Yes, or... laser burned. Yeah, and, um, there's a little heart in the middle. Yes, fantastic. All sorts of people walking in today, which we is keep great. Having... I know, I just came to say hi. Hello. Hi. I'm doing a TV show. It's oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry I missed your opening. That's okay. Yeah, I just wanted to say it looks really good. It's going to be yeah. here. And you're wonderful. Yeah. And October 3rd is the grand opening. I know. I'll be, th I'll be there, there for that. that. Yes. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cool little Worcester awesome. stuff in here. Oh, we nice. got a bunch of mugs. Um, Mug and Worcester. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Nice job. I love you so much. What are these, uh, what is up with these, uh, these little guys? So they're made by Jenny Smith of uh -huh. Teddy Bear Republic, and uh, she does them all by hand. And Currently, they're maybe my, my favorite new transplant to Worcester. Absolutely. Yeah. She is so cool and so great to talk to and so talented, and um, she makes these wonderful creations that are more pieces of art as opposed to stuffed animals, I think. And uh, we're collaborating with some Worcester-themed fabrics to give them outfits that are not only beautiful, but also Worcester-themed. Good deal. Yeah. Her husband, Barry Dennis, leaves a lot to be desired, but she is to <laughs> <laughs> I have not met him yet, so I don't have any comment on that. But I'm sure he's lovely. I want to, I want to, I want to, so, is this, so you also have a bunch of Braveheart stuff? Yes, so we're con I'm consigning the Bravehearts merchandise, who just won their second championship the other night, second year in sure, a row. Sure. Fantastic. And uh, so I have all of their merchandise. I have a crush on Jake the Lion, not the guy in the suit, but the actual lion, uh -huh. uh, who also has oh. a tattoo of the city seal. Here he was only at a column this morning. This I love it. Exactly. There he is. There's Jake. He doesn't have his hey. tattoo, though, on that. Hey, how's it going, guys? And then we have sweatshirts. Everybody's been requesting sweatshirts because uh, we live in Worcester. A cold place. too much snow. Yes. We need some boots, maybe a snowplow, Worcester-themed snowplow. Worcester-themed snowplow. That would be snow fantastic. Shovels. shovels. Here we, Absolutely. Here you've got a bunch of, are these books or directories? Yes, so Preservation Worcester and Worcester Historical have um, 
we're selling some books for them that are talking about the history of Worcester. Oh, okay. There's more books coming, but uh, there's a lot of visitors here, and they should know how rich in history and facts we are. I guess I should ask you, if people you know, are in some sort of organization that publishes books around Worcester, or maybe they're in a band that makes CDs about Worcester mm-hmm. or whatever, should they be trying to consign stuff in here? Absolutely. Right. Um, so with the words everything Worcester that's part of Worcester Wears, I, I want to be um, showcasing as many artists and as many Worcester-themed items as possible. So I, I welcome anyone to come in and chat, and uh, let's brainstorm and come up with some ideas or look at what they're already doing. Cool. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. Let's go around here. We got this, this is more stuff from like the historical yes. museum. Yeah, the prints. The auditorium. The sadly closed auditorium. I know. We have kids' shirts for the first time. Everyone. Uh, Who made this design? Shirts. So this is by the artist Danielle Montgomery of Worcester. Mm-hmm. Um, most people know her on Instagram as Ugly Cat Sweaters. Okay. That seems to be how everybody goes. Oh, you're Ugly Cat Sweaters. Oh, great. Um, and she also did the Bancroft Tower design that's on the totes and uh-huh. the city seal, the representation of the city seal. Mm-hmm. This is her design, and it looks like um, we're going for like it looks like a kid drew it almost. It's very um, light and yes. happy. I think Nicole Apostle mm-hmm. just photobombed our uh, our show today. There she is. Wait yeah. a second. What the, that's is that's the uh, that's uh, from the uh, historical museum. Worcester historical. Yeah. yeah. That they have no ca- uh, greeting cards. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. And we've talked about this before, Mike. But for all the kids at home, that's what Worcester's light rail looked like. And if you want to actually bring Worcester back to its former glory, oh, you can go to most of the streets where you used to find light rail and just start kicking up the tar. It's just below the surface, <laughs> cobblestone and all. It's we used to do that for fun down on Green Street and. That's how we're going to get the city's transportation network back. We're just going to kick up. We're, we're just going to kick up the tracks and then our way into the future. we're going to three D print ourselves a new trolley. And there's yeah. a section on Green Street that uh, the asphalt has cleared, and you can see the cobblestones underneath. Yeah, it's that's probably really from cool. a lot of my kicking that's all years you're kicking? ago. Yeah, oh, late, okay, late now I know. And kicking of the, of yeah. the street. It is neat to see that under there. It's yeah. like, ooh, secrets. <laughs> I've, I've been doing triage for what is here that is actually I actually have cash to buy today, and this I think is going to be it. Good night, Worcester, by Jackie Penny. Fantastic. She has a, a great book, but she's also working on a number of Worcester-themed art pieces that I'm very eager to see when she has her Arts Worcester show. Or, uh, Brandon, would you like to read, read a page for us? Good night, Worcester, and all your crisp, cold air. I could, we could do, the, uh, uh, we could do a formal reading on a full show one day. Maybe not today. It's a very short book. I think you could definitely do that. I mean, it's short but wonderful. Definitely. Here we got more stuff from the historical. See, you know, I like I've been to the historical museum, and I, I don't think that they uh, had their stuff out in such a way that I can comprehend what they have because they this have. is great. The Worcester, the Harvey Ball uh, smiley face tie. Can you even with this camera? You can't even see these are smiley faces. And that's so subtle and classy enough that you could wear that anywhere without feeling as though you had a giant smiley face on your chest. Here's no, there's anything wrong with that. More customers coming in behind there, Brandon. That's actually Lynn Stromberg of Let Us Be Local, which is a fantastic organization yeah. um, oh. around the area that's helping restaurants uh, connect with local farms for local produce. Oh, really? Yeah. We should inter- we should interview you. <laughs> we're doing we're doing our public affairs show about Worcester today. It's a show. It's a show. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff. Preservation Worcester. Get the cards. We get the, these. We get. Oh, see, this is actually kind of a better tie in my mind. The Preservation Worcester. One. This Preservation Worcester tie. Fantastic. What do you what, what do you think? You wear a tie for work more than me. Is I would wear either of those ties. But I would better? ask the makers to start going a little bit skinnier. That's uh, I've times. got a narrow frame yes. and I can't really pull off wide eighty style tie. I know <laughs> I know it's supposed to be a power thing, but it doesn't really work for me. We move over to this nec- this next case, and we've got some. Uh, like, what are these, terrariums? Yes, those are um, seed to stem, who uh-huh. I think are brilliant. Uh, uh-huh. They're beautiful artists, and their view of uh, beauty is equally as beautiful. Is that what you would say? Sure. Uh, so it decorates the store, but they're also um, they're consigned as well, so people can decorate their desks. Uh, and if they're as terrible with plants as I am, it's the perfect plant for them because you only have to water it once a week. Hmm. And... Uh, they're alien-like. I just think they're so great. Can you make up a quick story about how those represent all forms of Worcester flora that uh, can be found throughout the city in sidewalk racks and whatnot? Totally we make something have, up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, we have like um, all these hidden cacti and whatnot all over people don't People don't notice the you cacti because there's too much, much rain in most places. Yeah, you're not looking down between the sidewalk racks enough. Absolutely. It's like that scene in um, Little Shop of Horrors. I was walking yeah. up the street one day and there was this bright light. It was bright green. I don't know what happened. And uh, when I Looked, I had this itch on my ankle, and when I looked down in between the cracks, um, they were just growing there. They, they're a little alien-like, but they're very friendly. 
Uh, they don't eat that much, which is great. They attached and your ankles. Um, you got home. You were able to peel yeah, them off. Yeah, I got and you home. Put my them cat in there. was totally upset that they were attached to my ankle, but um, they became friends because I was scared of what they might be if they weren't. And uh, we went from there. So now they're in my store, and uh, they're here to stay. I appreciate the story. Yeah. We've got uh, <laughs> we've got uh, some CDs here. Dale of Age, Need to Bleed. We've got more cards, more yes, great cards. Stationery, Lister theme stationery. Living in a small town, it's like living in a large family of rather uncon con congenial relations. So you're getting a lot of people just wandering off the street yet? Yes, actually, it's been wonderful. I, there's times where it's completely dead in ghost town down here, uh, and then somebody will pull up, and that's so great. Yeah. The fact that people are excited and they'll drive here specifically to come. And what are your hours stuff. like for folks that want to pop in? Sure, Sunday, Monday, I'm closed, okay. and then Tuesday is 11 to 3, Wednesday, Thursday, 12 to 6. Friday, 11 to 3, and Saturday is 12 to 4. If and I that will change with the holidays. One suggestion, you should find a way to create some special hours anytime that there's a um, Insane Clown Posse show at the Palladium. Because oh, we need to figure out a way yes. to get Juggalos completely decked out oh, in here. Absolutely. Worcester seems to be their favorite place in the universe oh, for some unknown weed reason. But Do you yeah. have some ink color uh, recommendations? No, no. I just need, um, I think Mike and I would both be very happy if we could see just armies of Juggalos wearing Worcester sweatshirts. I'm gonna put it on the to do list. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. You could totally make a, some kind of a Worcester a Worcester shirt that had an ICP vibe to it. Yeah. And make so much money. On, the FBI would start watching you. And you used to make so much money in the meantime. It wouldn't matter. Yeah. You could totally yeah, hire all the lawyers you need. Out there making some <laughs> interesting shirts. I, my favorite thing is to license different designs because maybe my designs aren't going to speak to every person. Yeah. And something over here might talk to someone, and something over here might speak to someone. So. I want the weird designs, I want the fun designs, I want the cute designs. Come see me. How about uh, Abby Hoffman for president? Abby Hoffman, steal this book. I don't Absolutely. even know where I don't even know where the shirt came from, honestly. Yeah. I got the shirt second hand. I think most people don't know he's from Worcester. They they, they don't know. Yeah. They should know. Start went from Congress Alley to Levitating the Pentagon. I should no time for sell steal this book. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to ask you, um, but I keep forgetting the questions I want to ask you. There's oh, too many questions. I want to ask you a couple, one more, one, just one more question about your hours. So you're not open like when there are big, are you open when there's like big events in the DCU? So I'm on the opposite side. This is the conference side. So, so like people, people don't really come, come over, over here. But I okay. will be, uh, I did a 20 hour week because I knew I would be open for special events and different conferences as yeah. well as um, by appointment. Oh, so okay. I knew that if okay. I made it 40 hours, I'd end up working 80. So I made it 20 in the hopes that it's 40. The other thing I have to ask you is, uh, you know, just the, just the standard question of like, what are you excited about in Worcester? What is what what if, like? What are you excited about that people know about? What are you excited about that people don't know about? What are you excited about that you haven't actually been able to check out yet, but you're planning to? Wow, that's a lot of questions. Let's see. What am I excited about right now? Um, like we were talking about with the shirts, I, I think people are more excited and more proud of being from Worcester right now. I think people used to not say they were from Worcester. It was a little bit like, mm. mm -hmm. I feel like there's a momentum right now. People are trying really cool things and they're not afraid to try something strange and interesting. I mean, I have a Worcester store. that I never in a million years would have guessed I'd have a Worcester store. I think people are from the city getting more support for crazy ideas. I yeah, think that, as a lifer, yeah. I never thought that there would be a Worcester store. But right. I think what you said about you know something in the air sort of thing, that, I mean, if you go back to when the Tatting Bookseller was selling these Paris of the 80s shirts, I mean, that was a pretty grim time economically as well, too. And I think there is something to be said for cities that have some history when yeah. things aren't always going their way. That's where a weird sense of civic pride actually kind of comes out, rears its head, and takes on a life of its own. Yeah. Yeah, there's tension right now. There's some violence. I mean, we're a city. We have issues we need to work on. But I think the secret to overcoming or moving forward is people coming together and supporting each other, even when the idea is strange or out of the box. And I think that right now a lot of people have those ideas and a lot more people are supporting them, which is awesome. Uh, something I haven't done yet, something random. I miss the Harvey Ball every year. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure. I'm always away at a wedding, sick, something, and I'm missing it again this year. <laughs> And so that's the thing, like, I have to make it to the Harvey Ball, because Smiley was born here, and i got to go see how, what Is that's Is there anything that, that might be out of your uh, zone in terms of creativity that you would like to see here? Like, if there's somebody out there watching this who, like, is making a Worcester theme thing, and, like, is there just something that you would really like to see for sale here that isn't yet? Let's see. No, that's, 
that's okay. Shop. I like the tough questions. <laughs> I think that there's so many things of Worcester that are not being expressed in items yeah. right now. I don't really have anything that expresses the three deckers. I don't have anything that talks about like a to-do list in Worcester. Like you got to get a meatball sandwich and you got to go to the Vernon and get a you know buy a bracelet from Millie. Like uh, the Millie is represented great on the Mugden and Worcester stuff, but I mm -hmm. think that there's layers of what's popular in Worcester, yeah. and I don't feel as though I'm yeah. expressing all of those layers yet. Um, but I feel like different artists bring a different view, and I, yeah. There's I'm, definitely three decker shirts out there. We're yeah, gonna have to I send them over. Here. Need a great three decker shirt. I'd like to really talk about the diner cars a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's fantastic. Talk about the CD parts. Let's get like a Hark and Betty shirt. Like let's let's, let's like make over, it a little weird. I feel like over the years we've kind of crossed paths with all sorts of really weird stuff that yeah. represented Worcester. Like I, I think there was a year that there was a, a calendar or something that was like. You know, chairs of Worcester uh, that yeah. was similar to like yes. what's happened out in Boston. Yes. Like it was mostly three deckers with chairs out front in the winter for holding spots. I would like more weird. Yes, yeah, no, I there's want more weird. I used to. I should have brought it down today, but I mean, we had. I, I have an old uh, like one of the original when the city was giving away original metal uh, keys to the city. I, I found it on eBay and like it started this like this weird chain of me just searching eBay for crazy Worcester stuff. Yeah. Everything from old used uh, postcards that actually have postage stamps on them and yeah. little notes. Uh, till there's a National Geographic that I found on eBay that is oh, a, from the 50s. It's a big story, a, a cover story about Worcester yeah. and how it's the future of American can cities. Bring all of that I can send you a PDF of it. Yeah, yeah. At these things, yes, that would I, be I, awesome. I found this little brass coin that's uh, it was given away at our tw 250th um, uh, commemorative uh, of the city. Uh, it's all sealed up in this little case, and it's all this crazy weird stuff that's out there that's been produced and then kind of lost a dime. But yeah. it was so eBay. Now it's you. Stuff. I wonder what people will be buying on eBay uh, 50 years from now that's from Worcester Wears. That all the cobblestones that all the kids are going to go, go out and start kicking up that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. Brendan, so, do, do you have anything that you need, to, do you need to talk up or promote about the city of Worcester besides this story? No, I just need to start story. shopping. Yeah, no, shopping. It, this place, seriously, everybody watching this needs to come down here. Like, I, I, I really feel as though this is like th this is what everybody who really cares about the city has in the back of their head wanted to exist, like a place that actually expresses how great Worcester is, even when it's not seeming so great on the surface. And for years now, I mean, you always had places like the Tatnik Bookseller, even Barnes & Noble for a while did a great job of carrying like books that were about Worcester and uh, like quirky local stuff and what have you. But one place that starts capturing it all, it's, it almost becomes like a living museum to the city. It's yeah. awesome. Thank you for this. Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate the support. And I love when people come in and chat about Worcester. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> and I'm dying to see all of the Worcester stuff that you have. That yeah, no, I'll have to bring it down yeah. sometime. That would be great. Yeah. This is cool. All right, well, thanks for watching the show, everybody. This has been uh, 508, and we will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.